Hi again. Um, I'm back with the rest of the questions. Uh, so I'll just jump right into where we left off. I think I finished uh, question number five, and so I'll go into number six, uh, which is an aspect of your book is on the idea of finding freedom and your place in the world. We've come to understand that you've grounded this freedom, as you say on page 78. I feel 100% alive when you're in the moment and nothing else exists except for this perfect moment. On this point, you go on to say that you can create your own reality and it takes on a life of its own. Since you've taken a relativistic view on life, we noticed that you had a hard time readjusting to everyday life when you finished your journey and existing in a world where your reality is not the only one inflicted upon you. Have you been able to harmonize your life with the realities of others or is there still friction? That's a complex question. Um, almost as complex as the as the argument of what is reality itself. And, uh, but, um, Let's take it from the viewpoint of the multiverse, the Mverse, that there are so many millions of possibilities that exist, possible realities that exist, and we're only experiencing one, uh, one of them, and we can only experience one of them at a time. But the moment you make a decision, you've put yourself into a tra trajectory of uh, a particular uh, timeline or a particular uh, outcome or reality. But all possible outcomes and realities are there, and they exist. Um, and so in line with that, of course, everybody else are exactly the same. So imagine how many millions upon millions upon billions of realities are out there. It's much like a computer game, you know, um, as soon as the character, like the Sim games, the Sims family, um, the moment the character, uh, you give it certain, um, probables or pr certain personality or certain likely choices, but ultimately they make a decision and the game continues according to the decision they make and that's kind of how uh, the concept of reality is shaped and therefore, so this entire planet is someone else's reality infringing upon your reality. It's all part of one greater reality and <clears throat> what we are doing throughout life all together is that we are shaping a collective reality uh, and we are literally creating our world as we are living it. And you know, the world we were born into was, was created by those who came before us and before them and before them. And all of our collective realities have been steadily shaping what we know of as the planet today. Um, so yeah, you, we have our own personal experience of our reality. And at the same time, we are also connected into one greater experience. Um, and so of course, <clears throat> no man is an island. And of course, others' realities are going to intrude upon yours. But the real question is, what your decision or how you react when circumstances that appear to be out of your control um, come into your life or come into your into your reality and what are you going to do about it because you might not have a choice about what happens to you but you always have a choice on your reaction to that and your reaction shapes what happens next so you still have control over um, many aspects of that even if you don't initiate it and uh and but when you see it that way you see it as a bigger picture you you um i guess i think you like i spoke about connection before you realize everything is connected and you know your life is just a tiny thread in one massive pattern or one massive um painting that is being created and we can't see what that is because we're in it but you know if we could step outside of that and stand back and be, be like ah oh, okay i get it now but we can't do that until we die. We don't even know then if that's the case. So we don't even know what reality is, do we? Um, but I do like to think of it as, as as a game we're playing. And, you know, you might live many. You might be in many games. You might be doing this over and over in, in different time frames. And, um, and graduating from different levels. If you pass one level, you might move on to a more complex one. I tend to think that people who have a very complex life um, full of difficulties might be on a higher level of the game than someone who um, breezes through life without any stress or struggle. So, you know, life gives you exactly the level that you can handle, and maybe that level is predestined. Who knows? But we're not going to go into that very deep philosophical subjects. <laughs> Let's just stop there. Um, so yes, I can harmonize my life very well with um, with the realities of others and um, and meet them halfway meet them hopefully with love and acceptance and understanding that they're also on their path. And hopefully we can make both paths um, reach a satisfactory conclusion.
let's move on to number seven. You met a lot of people during... Sorry, no, I'm going to make this a new video, otherwise it's going to be too long to send, so I'm going to stop there.